Good evening, everyone. Tonight, as I drink my Ensure shake, which is rather excellent, mm, with ice cream and um, whole milk, I would like to talk about <clears throat> the late, great Elliot Spitzer, which I think the name is already pretty disgusting enough, and his recent resignation due to his dealings with a prostitution ring. Um, just for everyone who doesn't know, he was the governor of New York State and was busted for um, attempting to get a prostitute to do something she didn't want to do, which I can't even go into that right now because that would be very upsetting for me. <laughs> but to me, it's more important that he's married and has not one, not two, three daughters. Okay. A lot of the press today was about, well, his wife is standing by him. And I saw stupid fucking pictures, which makes me hate the patriar patriarchy and politics even more. Of the two of them standing side by side giving a press conference. Now, I have never been in this position. And knock on wood, I never will be. But I think for her to not say something about it, to not temporarily become separated or file for divorce, puts women back so far and really, really sends a powerful message to all women and young girls who, might I add, be in abusive relationships that no matter what your man does to you, even if he is the fucking governor, fucking prostitutes spending his um, income, which is taxpayers' dollars, um, for prostitutes, that you have to... Stand by your man, which is like my, one of my least favorite songs of all time. And yes, I am a Hillary Clinton supporter, more for the fact that I would love the matriarchy to take hold of this country and this world. But for a long time, I was very anti-Hillary because I remember being in high school when the Monica dick-sucking scandal came out and I couldn't believe that she simply, once it happened, would acknowledge that it was totally fucked up and she, you know, would be separated from him or do something or say something. I think, again, that showed young women that men can treat you like shit and men are allowed to have more than one sexual partner, even when they have the bond of marriage, which, believe me, that's definitely why I'm not getting married, one of the reasons, um, and can have free reign. And here's Bill Clinton, washed of the shit writing books, getting paid top dollar to be a public speaker, about to be the first lady, which I think is great. Anyway, it just really burned me today, you know, and I I think of all the girls out there who are in situations like this, and I mean, you're looking at these politicians, polis, polis of the people, who are supposed to be not icons, but figureheads for us who we are entrusting our money and our lives with, and they do the same fucking stupid shit again, and young girls see it and maybe think, well, if the president can do it, if the governor can do it, and his woman stays by him, maybe I should stay by mine. 